what's going on guys so i wanted to make a quick video about uh, an idea that i had about my steam deck as you can tell so <laughs> i made a, a review of the steam deck uh, a few weeks ago and i mentioned one of the biggest drawback of it was the battery life and i mentioned how i wish somebody created a battery you could put on the back and just charge it up like that so you're gonna have to plug it to the wall all the time and I made a little bit of research and I found something that was being done with phones and I decided, you know what, if it works with a phone, it's going to work with a Steam Deck. <laughs> and it did. Here it is. So it's basically, um, and I'm going to detach one of these to show you. So what you do is you get a metal plate and you put it to the back. You can see it with the light like this. See right there. And I got another one over there. Uh, and you want to make sure that you don't cover any screws. And that you don't cover the exit and also you don't want to put it too close to the sides like this because then your hand is going to hit it but if you put it like this it's going to work and you can you can put it without bothering your hands it works like unless i'm really reaching for it then okay but it, it doesn't actually bother me at all um but uh it does add a little bit more weight obviously if you add one, it's not going to be a huge deal in terms of weight. When you add the second one, you're going to feel it quite a lot. So I think one is good enough. I think two is a little bit overkill, but I don't care. So the reason I went for this battery is that it's got this stand and it works. Despite being so heavy now, you can actually use it as a stand and use it as a battery, which is amazing. And I added like 90 degree USB-C to USB-C. Uh, what is extension whatever you want to call them one over here one over there and it really makes it look way cleaner way cleaner and the actual usb-c cable i believe is like one foot it's a little bit tiny bit long but it's okay I, it doesn't bother me at all to be honest um so yeah it's pretty simple each one of these is 10,000 milliampere and the actual steam deck if i remember correctly is 8,000 so you're basically tripling if you count in you know a little bit of loss in the translation in the transfer uh it, you're basically tripling the <laughs> the uh, battery life if you have another just one which i think is probably the better way to do it but i don't care i'm gonna go for two uh uh you're basically doubling which is really nice and you don't have to plug it into the wall obviously you're gonna have to charge these uh but you can do it like overnight or whatever and it really it really makes it so that you can play extended period of times um one little thing that i don't like about these 90 degrees things is this light right here this blue light in the dark you can definitely see it there's one there's another one over there so you can definitely see it and whenever the battery of one of these is done i just unplug it and plug it into the other one and you're good to go i was thinking about having like going from a usb a here to a usb c here no yes and then from a usb c here into the steam deck so that one battery is charging the other battery and the other battery is charging the steam deck but that's a bit too complicated i was like you know what i can just unplug and plug into the other one uh but overall it really is made it so that i never have to plug this thing to the wall i'm always just playing but again, it does add a bit of weight, so take that into consideration. Uh, I normally play the Steam Deck. I'm sitting with my arms, with my elbows sitting somewhere, so it doesn't really bother me. But if you like tend to play like this with your with your with your arms in the air, you're gonna feel that weight. So there's that. So in that case, you might want to go with just one. Um, also, just a little side note: I added a screen protector. As well obviously you're not gonna be able to notice it but it's pretty pretty nice and it just makes it so that you don't get any scratches so that's pretty neat uh, but yeah that's all I wanted to show and um, yeah so it goes around uh, 17 watts realistically transfer so if you're playing like GTA you're gonna lose a little bit of battery if you're playing like Stardew Valley you're gonna just keep on going <laughs> you can play like 18 hours straight <laughs> Stardew Valley <laughs> which is hilarious um a bit unnecessary but you know what i love this kind of stuff i enjoy it and so that's why i did it uh but yeah i want to post all the links into the description obviously 
do what you want with it that you may be able to find better batteries or better whatever better cables i don't know uh but if somebody is interested i'm gonna go ahead and post them because this is to me is like a lifesaver because i hated having to plug in the steam deck it almost felt like like what was the whole point of having a mobile device when you gotta have it plugged in all the time so that's it for me let me know if you have questions and I'm going to go back to enjoy some games.